guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how quick and easy it is to engrave metal jewelry. You can see this here. Uh, with your X-Tool F1. So the F1 has both a diode laser as well as an IR laser, which is extremely fast and uh, is perfect for engraving on metal. So not only uh, metals for jewelry, but other things like stainless steel tumblers and different things like that. So we're gonna start in creative space so that I can show you exactly how to do uh, your first engraving. I actually just used one of the little sample pieces that came with the um, F1, so it's perfect for you to practice on. Okay, so in Xtool Creative Space, there is a tool over here on the left side for text. So um, I just selected the text tool and then you most softwares allow you to change your text right in here. But in Xtool Creative Space, you actually have to go into this little area over here and this is where you're going to change it. So I am just going to change mine um, to an M for an initial. And then if you go down here to typeface, this is where you can find all of the fonts. Now fonts that are um, some of these are already in Xtool, these ha a handful up here. The ones below where it says system typefaces, those are fonts that are installed, downloaded and installed on your computer. So you will be able to access any font that is downloaded and installed on your computer here in Xtool. So I'm actually going to use this font here, which is one that's on my computer, and I, you can see that I have it here. So. Um, while the font is selected, I now have the processing. So I, I am going to engrave this. So I'm just gonna click engrave and I'm gonna size it. So I know that it needs to be pretty small. Um, up here, it's showing me the size. I'm probably gonna have to size it even, even more once I do some framing. Um, but I will size it down. And then the next thing that I need to do is I need to tell the software what we are doing. So we are going to use the material. Again, we are using one that came um, with the F1, so it's actually right here, it's round stainless steel. Now, if you are trying to engrave something like another piece of jewelry that is not specifically listed here, you are definitely able to pick one that is close. So for example, if you're using a square stainless steel or you're using a different type of metal, you can go down and see what is available or you can just do some testing using the test array and make your own. But in this case, um, I'm going to use that. Now what that's going to do um, is it is going to make the settings um, set to reference. So what does reference mean? Reference means it's referring to the material that you just set and we set that round metal. So here is what it's recommending for that. Um, the IR at 100 power, 100% power, 50% or 50 uh, speed millimeters per second, and then lines, all right? So I'm just going to, to do that. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to um, click framing. So what framing does is it's going to put a small blue box on um, the base of the F1, and that is where I need to position my uh, piece of jewelry. So if the I, that's how I'm going to center it. Now for jewelry, I actually like to do the framing and then put the piece of jewelry right over it. And you may need to come back into the software to, to size just to make sure, but just so you're aware, um, that is what you're going to need to do. When you're done uh, framing, just click um, for it to stop the framing. So I'm going to close this carefully, making sure the jewelry doesn't move. When you're ready, then you can click process here and this is going to bring you to the preview screen in Creative Space and you'll be able to click start. And once you do that, then all I have to do is click the start button on the F1 itself. Now this is engraving in real time. I did not speed this video up intentionally so that you can see just how quickly this works. Um, this would really be ideal if you are engraving um, on the go, if you do custom pieces, you know, at a craft show or something like that, you could just do these very, very quickly um, while people are waiting because this works very fast um, and it's small enough and portable enough for sure that you are able to just, you know, take it with you. So of course this just has an M, but I did want you to see that in about a minute or a minute and a half, um, this little tag jewelry disc is complete. This could also be used as a pet tag or, you know, whatever, um, keychain, whatever it is that you want. So when the processing is done, the IR does work very fast. That laser works very fast when it's complete. You're just gonna open it up and you can see 
um, that on the metals, the IR does, the IR uh, laser does an amazing job with the precision and a really, really nice engraving. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check the description for links to everything I showed you in this video, along with more tutorials and how you can get one-on-one -on -one help with me and a whole lot more.